Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, we just launched a new model. I think we have over 150 free models now, so check those out. This one is created by Remco, and a lot of people were commenting on this really nice colorized lens effect, and I wanted to show you how to make it. It's actually using a new feature in R18 called the Thin Film Shader. So I'm gonna walk you through how to set that up from scratch. So we'll jump into a new window, double click to add a new material and open that up. Uh, we're gonna kill the color channel right off the bat, go into our reflectance and delete the default specular, and we're going to add a Beckman. All right, so now we need to add the thin film shader and we're gonna put it under the layer color under texture. So we'll twirl that down, go to effects, and we have thin film, which is new in R18. Click that throw that on the bubble and see what it looks like. So already this could be useful for some sort of metal that has different coloration, but if we're gonna make something transparent like a soap bubble, we need to check on transparency. So we'll check that on and nothing's gonna show up right now. That's because the last thing we need to do is turn on additive in the transparency channel. So click on additive and just like that with a few clicks, we have the beginnings of a pretty good looking soap bubble. Um, there's a lot of things that you can play around with. Um, if we go into that thin film shader, we can play around with the color cast, change that to maybe a green hue of the whole thing. I'll undo that, but that's how you would change the color. Another thing we can do is add a texture. So we'll add a noise into here. See what that looks like. Looks like uh, it's a little bit too defined and maybe needs to be a little bit bigger in the scale. So let's maybe kick that the strength down a little bit and see what that looks like. And that's just going to break up the coloring a little bit, make it look a little bit more organic. And then we have thickness. And if you know about bubbles, you know that they, uh, they change the thickness over time. And it dramatically changes the coloring and also sort of the definition of the outside of the bubble. So you'll probably want to change the thickness over time and animate this. And that will have it sort of change uh, colors over time. It's going to look really cool. So play around with the thickness that dramatically changes the coloring of the bubble. So that's really cool. And then we also have a bunch of presets under here. You can play around with that. Um, these will also dramatically change the coloring of the bubble. So you can kind of dial in exactly what you're looking for. And if you want it to be a little bit less transparent, just go to transparency under the brightness. You can kind of kick that down a little bit. And then the bubble will be a little bit less uh, transparent, which might be good in some uh, situations. Like maybe if you're doing that lens effect like Remco did, you might want it to be a little bit less transparent like that. All right, so that is the thin film shader. I hope that you find that useful. Make sure to grab this new model by Remco and you can check that out. And as always, thank you for checking out Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.